This community is a Wisconsin original. Good afternoon, ladies. My name is Colleen. I'm gonna be your tour guide today. A place so out of the ordinary, some people never leave. This place is Greendale, the only depression era community built by the Roosevelt administration in Wisconsin. They were trying to create jobs, number one, get people out of the overcrowded cities. The concept was creating a better life and everything within walking distance. In 1936, Eleanor Roosevelt came to dedicate the village. So as we walk around, what I want you to see is the uniqueness of Greendale. The Roosevelts, the Depression, and Norman Rockwell style living aren't the only things unique to Greendale. You figure she's kind of like uh, Walt Disney in Greendale. He is Al Emmons, chimney repairman and artist. It was my dad's idea, you know, to start decorating them and put the artwork up on the chimneys. People will come to me and say, my chimney's leaking. And that's the reason that they called me in the first place, not to do artwork. It just kind of blossomed and got bigger and bigger and bigger. Once we started putting sculptures on it, uh, then it was over. And people would call me up and say, I know what I want on my chimney. I didn't even tell them how much yet. Behind every one of those chimneys, there's a real life story. We have a fireman's memorial, which is absolutely gorgeous. But a fireman lives in the house and we used his hat, his boots. These chimneys also sport hometown pride. The panther is the mascot for, the, for Greendale. That's an actual life-size panther that we have, and then we've got a baby panther up on the top of that. Across the street, a neighbor intrigued by fairy tales and pixie dust. The woman loved Peter Pan and the Peter Pan stories and the theory and feeling behind it, which is a good thing and a happy thing. And Tinkerbell is just a plus. It's a joy to think about that, you know, making other people happy. And for Al, it forced him to learn the art of patience. This is one of my favorites. We're on Cardinal Court. Every time I came around the corner, I thought, oh, look at the size of that chimney. And I could put this beautiful cardinal on there. Days turned into months and months into years. And then one morning, about 8 o'clock in the morning, they called and they said, hey, we have a leak, would you come? And I thought, oh, this is it, my golden opportunity. When I got here, I acted like I was calm, but I was not inside, I was not calm. I thought, this is going to be the best chimney I ever did. I made them an offer they couldn't refuse. Yeah. <laughs> These days, favorites come in all shapes and sizes. Most of the time I'm frightened. I don't know what people are going to say when we get done with it. It's like a tattoo. If you're going to do it, you want to make sure that it's done right, because it's not very easy to take it apart and do it over again. In all, Al and his family have decorated more than 200 chimneys. My children are involved, my wife's involved, the neighbors are involved. In his 80s, Al is still involved. He just doesn't climb chimneys anymore. Through the years, his kids have inherited the honor. My role is that I help think of the imagination for the chimneys, and they're actually pretty big. I mean, the Sunday comes up about here on me, so they look smaller when they're on a chimney, but everything is actually a lot larger. The wolf one has always been my favorite back because I did the daffodil in the front, and then uh, you know, my sister did the wolf in the back. I was asked to do my first chimney, and I thought it was a little bit strange, a little bit unusual, and as a 16-year-old, you're like, I'm gonna do what, on a where? It was a lot of fun. Whenever you want to get to know somebody, just ask them about their chimney and they'll tell you the story. 40 years later, 
Visitors come for chimney tours and the stories. So the gentleman that lives in the, the Red House still lives there. He does short films for a living. But he wanted the movie camera, and then he decided instead of Hollywood on the front, he would put Arrowwood. We're on Arrowwood Street. You want something that you're going to love looking at. They visualize what they would do with their own chimneys. By now, some may wonder what design Al has on his own chimney. I'm a Mickey Mouse fan. My mom would say, pray and don't worry. You know, because Mickey Mouse is never worried. He's, you know, he's always he's happy. Today, Al is happy that the story of Greendale includes the history of his art covered chimneys. He really poured his heart and soul into this community. I think they mean everything to him. That's his legacy. That's my dad's legacy. He loved these chimneys. Can I say this? Truthfully, it's, I'm, I'm a show-off. I like it when I go into town and, and people say, are you the guy that does the chimneys? Al Emmons, a true Greendale original. There's a perfect chimney over on Clover. I hope the guy calls. 